Before I get into my rando settings, I just want to say thank you for a thousand subs on the YouTube channel. I'll be getting myself a creator code soon, but at the moment the application process is on pause. So if you want to support me in the meantime though, come over to my Twitch and say hi. We're nearly at 50 followers and we're super close to affiliation. With that said, enjoy the video. Right, before we get into the render settings, we just need to make sure that the sequence settings are all correct. So to do that, you just want to click on sequence, sequence settings, and then you want to change the frame size, horizontal and vertical to 2560 by 1440. And you want to make sure that the time base is at 60 frames per second. Now you've done that, your video might start looking like this. So to fix that, you just want to click on your clip, go to the editing tab up here and then change the scale to 133.3 and then it should fit the screen perfectly. Now you've done that, you want to render your video. So to do that, all you have to do is click here, and press Control M and it'll bring up this and you want to go to the match source high bitrate preset and then you want to change it a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this as 2560 by 1440 like we just did in the sequence and then we're going to have the frame rate of 60 just like we have in the sequence we're going to keep this as progressive and keep this as square pixels and we're going to change this to high the profile and change the level to 5.2 but then this if this changes just change it back and it should all be fine we want to then tick render at maximum depth and um, now this is the main bit that you want to change we want to change the bitrate encoding to vbr2 pass and the target bitrate and maximum bitrate both to 50 50 million so make sure this is ticked, use maximum render quality, and that is everything that you need to do for the um, render settings. But now you probably want to save them, so you just want to come up here and press save preset, and then give it a name, so I'm just going to call it 2K60, because that's what it is, 2K60 frames. And there you go, that's your preset. All right, and then let's export the video, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just something to note quickly is if even after these render settings your video still looks bad quality, you probably need to go into your recording software and make sure the bitrate is the same as the bitrate that I've just shown you in the um, rendering. Because if it's any lower, then it will still look really bad. So you have to make sure the recording settings are the same basically as the render settings, apart from the um, resolution. If you play on 1080p, then record in 1080p, but just upscale it in Premiere Pro as I've done here. Anyway, stay tuned for my 1000 subscriber special and I'll see you all later.